Good Wednesday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with an update on your forecast. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, an opportunity for you to catch up on the weather on your schedule. We try to tape this as much as possible, especially during times like this where we may be looking at the possibility of some more severe weather in the Mid-South. A marginal threat for severe weather existing from roughly I-40 and the Memphis metro area south into around northern Mississippi and southeastern Arkansas. Arkansas. Now, it's not a great chance. We don't see anything in the way of a moderate or high risk taking place, but we could see some hail and some damaging winds and things like that with some of the thunderstorms that get going and a little bit stronger this afternoon. So this is something we'll be monitoring and something you need to be monitoring by keeping tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on all of this coming on through. High temperatures today, the forecast bar in the red section at the bottom of your screen. Temperatures will be very mild back in the lower to mid-60s for today. Winds will be out of the southeast into tonight and developing chances of showers and thunderstorms could be a bit of a problem as we get into the evening hours. So something to watch out for there. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that throughout the course of the rest of the day. We did not see anything in the way of earthquakes in the last 24 hours. However, there were two earthquakes overnight around the Nevada-California border that were felt here, detected on helicopters from the University of Memphis Surrey Activity Area, the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis, and also a larger earthquake, 5.9, detected in Daigo, Japan. That happened just about an hour ago from the time that we recorded this early Wednesday morning, and that energy also making its way through the Mid-South. If you'd like to see more on that, go to WREG.com, but no earthquakes in the Mid-South. Airport delays this morning. Things are looking pretty good at Memphis International Airport as of the time we record this, and nationwide also not seeing anything in the way of major delays. This again is early morning, but you may want to check with your airline and also with the FAA at fly.faa.gov if you'd like to see more about what kind of delays are going on out across the Mid-South. Mostly cloudy for right now and throughout the rest of the day as temperatures rise rapidly through the lower 50s by later on this morning. Chances of rainfall will be increasing through late morning into this afternoon with showers and quite possibly some thunderstorms out there. Some very mild temperatures later on this afternoon. So if you're going to be going out for a temperature beverage conducive to your atmosphere out there early in the morning, a wake-up call of hot cup of java might be a good idea. But then later on this afternoon, an ice-cold refresher as those temperatures hit 10 to 15 degrees above normal. Again, your coffee, your business, so please use good judgment where it comes to making certain you don't get burned or get a brain freeze. St. Francis Cam showing some sunshine making its way through across Germantown Parkway into the Cordova, Tennessee area just south of I-4. Germantown, plenty of sunshine on the water tower. Keep in mind that if you are going to be anywhere close to around Germantown High School, just beneath and to the east of this tower where this is taking place, the railroad will be under construction. The railroad crossing just to the east of Germantown Parkway. Uh, just around the area of Germantown High School. That'll be closed throughout the course of the rest of the day, so please keep that in mind if you are going to be traveling through that area. Windy Country Club, not too many golfers out and about just yet, and quite possibly some frost out on the greens this morning. Oxford, a lot of cloud cover out there, little activity on the Ole Miss campus in Oxford, Mississippi. Olive Branch, breaking up the clouds a little bit at early morning as we see some of that sunlight coming on through. Sunshine today will be about 9 hours and 49 minutes, and about the same in to tomorrow, slowly increasing the amount of sunlight we get as we head out of winter and towards spring in the next couple of months. Rainfall, we managed to pick up a fraction of an inch yesterday. We're ahead for the year by about eight inches and about one and two thirds inches above for this time of the month, so looking pretty good there. Temperatures yesterday, 42, well above our normal low, and 58, decently above our normal high temperature. Record high today, 74, set back in 1894. Record low of five degrees above zero, set back in 1894, so decent amount of change on the temperatures there. Rest of the day, we'll see moisture start to move into the area, more clouds, more chances of rain by mid to late morning. Lunchtime, scattered showers across the Mid-South. Early this afternoon, showers and thunderstorms across parts of the area, and that will linger right on in through rush hour, dinner time, early this evening. May need the umbrella as you head on out. Now, as we get into later on this evening, just at and before News Channel 3 at 10, we may see some clearing skies taking place in northern parts of the viewing area along and north of I-40 first off, and then clearing out nicely as we go into early tomorrow morning around daybreak, 30s and 40s. 
40s, winds out of the northwest, and looking pretty sunny for most of Thursday and into Thursday afternoon and evening, and should be staying mostly clear as we get into around Friday. So get a couple of good days for outdoor activities coming up. The problem we've got into today is going to be the threat of possibility of severe weather in the area. That green area, the bright green area, Indicate, indicates the possibility of severe weather for most of the Mid-South. Now just north of there, that very faint green area, that is the possibility of a generic threat of thunderstorms. The highest possibility of any thunderstorms will be in the bright green shaded area for the rest of the day today. And that does include parts of the metro Shelby County area, northwestern Alabama, all of Mississippi, and parts of southeast Arkansas and southwest Tennessee. It's not a huge chance. We do not see anything out there in the way of major amounts of problems. So as of right now, it is not an enhanced, a moderate, or a high risk, but we will be watching that nonetheless, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Tomorrow's threat gone. No thunderstorms expected for Thursday or for Friday, so looking very quiet across the Mid-South into the later portions of the week. Mid-60s today with showers and thunderstorms developing. Could see a leftover shower or thunderstorm very early tomorrow morning after about midnight but then mostly to partly cloudy skies early Thursday morning around dawn patrol and afterwards mostly clear by tomorrow evening. Back to normal on temperatures for Friday. Partly cloudy skies across much of the Mid-South. By the time we hit New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, that's the problem for outdoor activities. Near normal on temperatures for Saturday, above normal temperatures with more chances of showers and thunderstorms on Sunday for the brand new year coming on through. And some of that activity could last into early Monday. Heading back to work or school could be against some very mild temperatures. Mid-60s, that's about 15 degrees above normal. Close to normal on Tuesday, dwindling chances of showers and maybe some thunderstorms into the area Monday into Tuesday scattered showers Wednesday into Thursday along with a big downturn in the temperatures going back to the lower 40s by Thursday. Now whether or not those colder temperatures at night begin to give us the possibility of anything frozen out there that's what we need to be watching throughout the rest of the next several days. So stay tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated. Where the troops are, not a lot to report. Things are pretty quiet around temperatures, mainly back in the mid-50s. Baghdad, Najaf, and Mosul, mid-60s around Basra. The, the Sussex, these Riyadh, and Bahrain, and 82 at Doha at the International Airport in Qatar. Back toward around Afghanistan, 40s and 50 degrees around Kabul, and mid-60s with mostly cloudy skies across the country, also toward Herat and Kandahar, and back toward the demilitarized zone, very chilly, back from the DMZ south, 20s on the western side of the country, also around the DMZ, mid to upper 20s there, right around freezing in Tegu, and 36 degrees, cloudy skies, no major problems being seen across the country around the Pusan area so far this morning, and into around Thursday night, their time. If you'd like to see more about where weather where the troops are, join me for more coming up on News Channel 3 as we go through the New Year's holiday. Louis Haskett, thank you very much for a nice sunrise shot from, it looks like, northeastern Arkansas, if I'm not mistaken. Got any pictures you'd like to send to us? Twitter.com slash Aonic underscore WREG3. Send them along to me, and we'll be glad to feature them on News Channel 3 out there. And check out my forecast available on AM730 Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob and Josh. Also, download our weather app for whatever platform you have. Go to the App Store, search WREG Weather, and sign up for more with News Channel 3 online. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. Questions, concerns, ideas, let me know. Austin.onik at WREG.com for more information there. Stay tuned for more, especially with Jim Jaggers later on this evening for updates on any stronger or severe weather coming on through. And we'll have updates on the complete forecast tonight throughout the rest of the evening. I'll have it through noon, Jim Jaggers throughout the rest of the day today. Thanks for joining me for the latest update of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Wednesday, December 28th.